Uh, hello all. Uh, at the moment, I am going to talk about uh, past papers, IGCSE past papers. Uh, that is paper 22, May June uh, 2020. Um, this is question number one. Variables x and y are such that y equals sin x plus e power minus x. Use differentiation to find the approximate change in y as x increases from pi over 4 to pi over 4 plus h, where h is small. Now, <coughs> if y a equals fx or y is function of, of x and a small change delta x in x causes a small change delta y in y if delta x is small that is change in x is small then uh, delta y approximately dy dx times delta x now uh, uh, y is uh, sin x plus e power uh, minus x. Thus, first we find uh, uh, to the differentiation of y with respect to x. Thus, dy dx, uh, differentiation of sin x that is cos x, and then um, differentiation of e power minus x that is uh, e power minus x times differentiation of the power that is minus 1. Thus, minus e power minus x that is here. Yeah. Thus dy dx is cos x minus e power minus x. And here is uh, x is that is pi over 4. And delta x that is pi over 4 plus h minus pi over 4. Uh, that is h and uh, where h is small. Thus delta y uh, small change in y that is equals dy dx when x uh, pi over 4 times delta x and delta x that is h here. Now, dy dx when x pi over 4, do substitute um, x by pi over 4, do cos pi over 4, minus e power minus uh, pi over 4, here, cos pi over 4, minus e power minus pi over 4, times h, and then for this part, just enter it in the calculator, the result is 0 0.251 h, this, this is the small change in y. Uh, question number two here do not use a calculator in this uh, question uh, the point 1 minus root of 5 comma p lies on the curve y equals 10 plus 2 square root of 5 divided by x squared find the exact value of p simplifying your answer now this is a question about about search no uh, substitute uh, y by p and then x by 1 minus 5 so we obtain this this p equals uh, 10 plus 2 square root of 5 divided by 1 minus square root of 5 squared now we uh, square this one that is uh, 1 minus 2 square root of 5 plus 5 thus this one becomes 10 plus 2 square root of 5 uh, divided by uh, 1 plus 5 6 minus 2 square root of 5 and here there is common factor 2 factorization 2 times uh, 5 plus square root of 5 also here there is a, a common factor 2 of this term and that term that is 2 times 3 minus square root of 5 and then cancel the 2 we obtained uh, 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 3 minus uh, square root of 5 now um, conjugate charts conjugate of these charts uh, may be used to rationalize uh, this denominator that is to change uh, the denominator which contain a uh, search to a rational number thus here they conjugate pairs of that one that was 3 plus square root of 5 thus <coughs> they multiplied by this one over that one uh, this is actually one yeah this to uh, there is no change value of that now just uh, 
brackets multiplication those 5 times 3 15 5 times square root of 5 5 square root of 5 square root of 5 times 3 3 square root of 5 and square root of 5 times square root of 5 that is 5 divided by this one times this one that is 9 minus 5 now 15 plus 5 20 this one 8 square root of 5 divided by 9 minus 5 is 4 now there is common factor in this term and that term that is 4 put out the brackets those 4 times 5 plus 2 square root of 5 divided by 4 cancel 4 that is the final answer yeah this that is the exact value of p now question number 9 a solve the equ equation uh, 9 power 5 x divided by 27 power x minus 2 equals 243 uh, yeah that is uh, uh, exponential equations yeah those exponential equation an equation that contains a variables this is uh, x is the variables uh, in an index or in the exponent no uh, uh, change to the same base do 9 uh, power 5x uh, we change to base 3 that is 3 squared power 5x divided by uh, 27 that is 3 cubed power x minus 2 and then 243 that is uh, 3 to the power of uh, 5 now uh, use the power law of indices do 3 squared power 5x that is 3 power 10x also here 3 cubed power x minus 2 that is 3 power 3 times x 3 x 3 times minus 2 minus 6 x mi minus 6 okay uh, equals 3 power 5 yeah and then uh, uh, rules or base for division law of indices yeah that is uh, the same base 3 those division means the power here is uh, 10 x minus power of the denominator those 3 power 10 x minus 3 x minus minus 6 that is plus 6 equals 3 to the power of 5 now uh, the same base left hand side and right hand side means uh, those uh, 10x minus 3x that is 7x plus 6 equals 3 power 5 and then the same base left hand side and right hand side means indices will be the same those 7x plus 6 equals 5 7x is minus 1 those x is minus 1 over 7 that is the answer for a b logarithm base a of square root of b minus half is logarithm base b of a where a more than 0 and b more than 0 solve this equation for b giving your answer in terms of a thus this is a logarithmic equation thus an equation that contains a logarithm of a variable quantity logarithm base a of b those square root of b that is equals b power half minus half equals now here uh, we use the change uh, of base law of logarithm those logarithm base a, base b of a that is equals one per logarithm base a of b and here uh, we use uh, base law of logarithm those we bring half down here those half logarithm base of uh, b minus half is equals 1 per logarithm base of b and next step all the term those left hand side and right hand side is multiplied by 2 logarithm base of b those this one times this one that is logarithm base logarithm base a of b squared minus half times 2 logarithm base of b that is logarithm base of b equals this one times that one is 2 and then next equate 0 those logarithm base of b squared minus logarithm base of b minus 2 equals 0 and factorization those uh, logarithm base of b minus 2 times logarithm base of b plus 1 equals 0 if this factor is 0 those logarithm base of b is 2 and if this factor is 0 those logarithm base of b base of b is minus 1 no just use the definition definition of logarithm those numerous is based to the power of the value of logarithm those b is a squared or in this year a b is a power minus 1 b is a power minus 1 or that is equals 1 over a this, this is the answer for question b now the question number 10 a 
the first five terms of a sequence sequence are given below that is the terms of the sequence 4 minus 2 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.25 uh, equation I find the twentieth term of the sequence. Now uh, we can see that this is uh, a geometric sequence. Yeah, those a sequence is geometric if each term can be obtained from the free first one by multiplying by the si same non-zero constant. Those if you see here. Um, 4 times minus half is minus 2, minus 2 times minus half is 1, etc. Those, the, here, uh, that is uh, the common ratio of this seconds, uh, of this seconds that is minus half. You know? Now, the n term or general term of uh, geometric uh, progression. Um, the first term u1 and common ratio r that is u n equals u1 times r power n minus 1 and here is uh, the first term that is 4 that is u1 and then common ratio that is minus 2 per 4 that is minus half or just here 1 per minus 2 also minus half plus uh, the 20 term u20 that is u1 substitute by 4 4 times r minus half power uh, 20 minus 1 those 4 times minus half power 19 and enter in calculator we obtain that that is minus 7.63 times 10 power minus 6 this, this is the 20th term of the seconds I, I explain why the sum to infinity exists for this sequence and find the value of this sum now if modulus of r of modulus of ratio uh, less than one or that is the same as if the ratio in between minus one and one exclusive then the sum to infinity of the geometric progression that is um, uh, u1 per one minus r that's uh, the first term divided by one minus the common ratio and here we have uh, we know that the ratio of this uh, sequence, geometric sequence, that is minus half, thus uh, minus one, half, that is in between minus one and one, thus sum to infinity of this uh, sequence is exist. And the sum to infinity, that is u1 is 4 divided by 1 minus common ratio is minus half, thus 4 divided by 1 plus uh, half that is 3 over 2 and that is equals uh, 4 divided by 3 over 2 that is 8 over 3 this, this is the sum to infinity of this uh, uh, sequence b the 10th term of an arithmetic progression is 15 times the second term the sum of the first 6 terms of the progression is 87 question i find the common difference of the progression yeah thus an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term differs from the free first one by the same fixed numbers that is uh, this number is called the common difference the general term uh, for the arithmetic sequence with the first term u1 and the common difference is d that is un equals u1 plus n minus 1 times common difference and the uh, sum of the finite arithmetic series for the first n terms that is sn equals n over 2 times 2 times u1 2 times the first term plus n minus 1 times common difference now uh, the tenth the tenth term of the arithmetic progression is 15 times the second term those u10 equals 15 u2 u10 use this formula that is u1 plus uh, 10 minus 1 that is 9 9 d equals 15 u2 15 u2 uh, that is u1 plus uh, 2 minus 1 that is 1 d those 15 u1 plus d now from this this one we can simplify it becomes 14 u1 equals minus 6d or u1 equals minus 3 per 7d 
No, also here is known that the sum of the first six terms of the progression is 87. Thus, S6 is 87. S6 used in this formula, thus n uh, substituted by 6, thus that is 6 per 2 times 2u1 plus 6 minus 1, that is 5d equals 87. 3 times 2 times u1, u1 is this one, so, uh, 2 times minus 3 over uh, 7d, that is minus 6 per 7d, plus 5d equals 87. And 12, 3 over 7d is 87, thus so, d is uh, 87 divided by 12, 3 over 7d is uh, 7, thus so, this is the common difference of the progression. I, I, for this progression, the n term is uh, 6,990. Find the value of n. Now, uh, we will use the uh, this formula, un equals u1 plus n minus 1 times common difference. And u1, that is uh, from this here, that is minus 3 over 7 times common difference, and then common difference is 7. This u1 is minus 3 over 7 times 7, that is minus 3. And un, that was this one, uh, 6990. By using this formula, un equals u1 plus n minus 1 times common difference. Uh, u1 is minus 3 plus n minus 1 times common difference, that is uh, 7 equals 6990. Thus, uh, minus 3 plus n times 7, 7n minus 1 times 7 minus 7 equals 6990. 7n equals minus 3 minus 7, that is uh, minus 10, shift to the right, this becomes uh, 7,000, this n is 7,000 divided by 7, that is 1,000, this, um, this is the value of n uh, for this uh, question. Now, uh, this is all for now, uh, see you in the next video, thank you.